Today on Fly Rod Chronicles, we're at Harmon's Cottages in West Virginia for their second annual Harmon's North Fork Invitational Fly Fishing Tournament. Join us as competitors from all over the U.S. hit the North Fork to battle it out with each other as well as these strong mountain state trout. Stick around. Sure. <laughs> I roam around from place to place. That's a West Virginia trout the right there. Fish go. Oh, oh. They're bigger in Montana. Not a real job, but it's too it's late. My biggest wild brook trout. That's what I'm talking about. I'm New Mexico. Well, if I don't Big have Daddy, gas, right I'm here. Out my thumb. Am I happy? Welcome to Alaska. That's another. bigger than Dollywood. That's incredible, isn't it? I'm Curtis Fleming. Join me as I pursue my lifelong passion for the art of fly fishing with special guests and friends. These are my Fly Rod Chronicles. The Harmon's North Fork Invitational is the brainchild of owner Todd Harmon and his cousin and competitive fly fisherman, Ryan Harmon. After a successful first event in 2010, we all found ourselves back at Harmon's Cottages for the second annual HNFI. So Ryan, we had registration tonight. What are you thinking? Well, you know, we had 64 teams that submitted applications this year, so it's a growing event. We've got uh, really an incredible group of fishermen that will be out here, and they're going to need it. It's going to be tough conditions this year. So it, this is the top 10. I mean, you said 64 teams. we got 10 of the best. We've got guys that are 14 years old, some of the top youth prospects in the country. We've got legends like Kevin Howell. Uh, Sandy and Clay Roberts out here. Yeah. We've got local talent. Uh, it really is a great group. Yeah. What about that Curtis Fleming guy fishing in the competition? I heard he didn't show up. Yeah. You know, I don't get to fish, do I? No. Yeah, yeah. This is a quality event. Right. <laughs> anyway, today, thanks for, <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I like that. So, hey, high waters. Ch changed the rules up just a little bit. Yeah, we did. You know, safety's always got to be the first priority. So we made a couple rule changes. One that'll hopefully help the fishing a little bit. Not so worried about whether they're using weight or not using weight uh, with, with the patterns they use. Yeah. And then we're allowing teammates to net the fish. Uh, hopefully that'll keep somebody from going swimming. It's awesome. I, I met participants from North Carolina. We got Mississippi, California, Colorado, West by golly, Virginia. This is awesome. Great event this year. Thanks for hosting the event, buddy. Glad to do it. All right. The high water was definitely going to play a factor in this two-day tournament. So we got with a few teams before they hit the water to talk strategy. Yeah, we were scouting it yesterday, and there was a bunch of fish hanging out close to the bank by the trees, uh, hitting, hitting some meat flies that were coming up. So. Uh, our strategy today is basically prayer and rooting for injuries. We're hoping other other. Other teams get injured, pull a hamstring, whatever. I think I like our chances. Just short of drowning. Yeah. During a competition, a lot of competitors are just not willing to share their strategy. We're going to probably dry fly fish with the water conditions. I'm thinking uh, probably some parachute atoms, maybe some pseudo mayflies on top with 7X flora. Yeah. Bars on Matt's crickets if that doesn't work. Move some night crawlers. Yeah, crawlers, yeah. All right, I'm here with Hunter. How you doing, brother? Good. Nice to meet you. Andrew, nice, nice to meet you. you. So uh, you guys are veterans at this fly fishing stuff, right? Yes, sir. Uh, how old are you? I'm 14. Yeah, I'm 15. Aren't you guys like national champs kind of stuff? Don't you have a little, uh, you got some history, uh, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. We, we've been competing a little bit. And uh, I've been fly, I mean, I've been fishing for all my life. That's yeah. awesome. So you, now you guys get you're, you're gonna fish against a bunch of old people, right? Yep. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, what, how cool would that be as a 14, 15 year old to win this thing? That's what we're It'd planning. It'd be on awesome. Doing. We're coming up here to win. Yeah. You guys ever see that uh, that Curtis Fleming guy fish? Yes. And yeah. what's your thoughts? Pretty good. Yeah, I know. Okay, I know. let me slip you. Here's a, here's a dollar. Here's a dollar. <laughs> well, if you guys need any advice, 
Don't call me. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Andrew, nice meeting nice you, brother. Meeting. Yep. Yeah. Hunter, nice meeting you guys. All right. Stick around. When Fly Rod Chronicles returns, the Harmon's North Fork Invitational gets underway. Welcome back to Fly Rod Chronicles. We're at Harmon's Cottages in West Virginia for their second annual Harmon's North Fork Invitational Fly Fishing Tournament. The five teams that drew the morning beat are on the water now. Let's go check it out. We are here with Team River's Edge. Our good buddy Hunter hooks into this nice mountain state rainbow. They may be the youngest team in the competition, but they were the first to score a fish in the morning session of day one. A little further downstream, Team WVU wasn't having quite the start they were looking for as they battled a big rainbow in high water only to see it get off at the net. Oh, 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 good. Oh, fat. You know, you didn't say no bad words. I did good. You were thinking them, weren't yeah, you? I sure was. <laughs> sure was. That's as honest as it gets right there. <laughs> Teams WVU, Marshall, and Project Hilling Water struggled with their first session, but Mountain River Retreat were on some fish, and some good fish to boot. Big fish, that way, boys. Meanwhile, the youth team in River's Edge was going on a rampage at beat four. guys again, man. They're killing me. They're almost, I'm almost triple their age, man. <laughs> they were the only team that morning to score all seven fish. Let me just tell you something. We get to see fishermen all over the world. Yes, all right, we, we filmed a hundred shows, get to see a lot of cool people. Up and down the bank, we're hearing this. And don't take it personal. You're, you're hearing the word kids. Yeah. Just because there's a bunch of old, crabby men fishing yeah. in it. But they're like, the rumor around here is those kids can fish. Yeah. Can That's fish. Great. That's, That's awesome. That's the way I wanted to be, man. That's awesome. It's so, good to hear. But, but for me, those young men can fish. Thank you. Good job, brother. Appreciate it. You're sir. the man. Thank you. And what about the old guys? When they were, when they were joking on you, they're like, hey, little kid, you want Kool Aid? What'd you think of that comment? Well, we have seven fish here. Ah, we got seven fish. You said <laughs> you say all your koi dicks because I'm going to go catch some fish, did yep. you? It's yep. awesome, dude. Yep. Thank man, you. Good See job. You, you bet, man. That's what it's about right there, man. Kids. It's pumped. You got a smile from ear to ear. These guys may take it. When Fly Rod Chronicles returns, we'll see how the other five teams fare in the afternoon session. Stick around. Welcome back to Fly Rod Chronicles. We're on the banks of the North Fork of the South Branch of the Potomac at Harmon's Cottages in West Virginia for their second annual Harmon's North Fork Invitational Fly Fishing Tournament. Team Davison River Outfitters with legend Kevin Howe and his partner Walker Parrott drew the same beat where the youth team limited out earlier in the day. It 
took less than an hour for Kevin and Walker to score all seven fish. They really put on a clinic. friends here so what, what, what was the magic flies a um, dung beetle I think <laughs> and and I noticed something different you guys did a little math you knew what each fish had to average didn't Absolutely. you and uh, so you did your homework we did our homework so you guys you guys must watch, watch the shows from last year my, my, oh not the fly rod chronicle yeah, show the fly Show, I, think. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you meant you watched my, my show. Yeah, 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 that's right. That uh, guy uh, Curtis Fleming. Yeah, we, watched, we watched both, uh, both episodes from last year and figured out what nah, I meant my shows where I fish, like where I get oh, to fish. Oh, your shows, oh, you like you fishing. Fish. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, we saw that one too. That one. <laughs> it looks like you were fishing right in front of that rock. <laughs> Good job. Good job, Thank guys. You. Hey. Thank you. All right. Appreciate it. Competitive fly fishing is a lot about what beat you get. And even though some teams weren't catching a whole lot, they were still having a great time. It's fun, but it's tough. I don't know if the fisher got educated or if it's just the water so uh, fast. And, I mean, it's cleared up a good bit, but it's still a little high and it's, it's fast. I don't weigh enough to get out there too deep. <laughs> By the way, Eric, how did you guys find out about the uh, competition? Treasure got online uh, after we watched one of the shows. And it was at Harmon's in the show. And she just started looking up Harmon's and then we saw the ad for the competition up there and she applied for it. We're good. The rule change that allowed teammates to net fish made for some really exciting action this year. Let's recap some of those finer moments right now. Mm. I got him. I got him. Barry, I need the net. Barry, I need the net. It's right at your feet. Net! Net, Red! Net! Quickly! Team Blue Ridge won the tournament last year, and they sure are fun to watch fish. Yes, sir. Need a net. Need a net. I'm trying, I'm trying to get that thing. What's up? I lost the other half of the net with the magnet thing. on the fly brought to you by Elk Springs Resort. Ellie Mae ties us up a black ant. Welcome to Focus on the Fly. We're down here at Elk Springs Fly Shop. I'm doing a size 14 black ant. All right, we're gonna start with some black thread here. Wrap the hook. Again, it's a size 14. Trim up your tag end. Now we're gonna take a piece of foam. The foam's been trimmed on the ends. We're gonna start here at the head. Tie the head of the fly in. Now you're going to wrap your thread back, make a second body segment here. The second and third segments are actually made together. There are a thread advanced to the uh, back segment of the, of the ant. 
or tie these in in kind of a figure eight motion. I want them to kind of lay flat on the fly. Once your back legs are tied in, move the thread forward to the front body segment. Repeat the same step to tie the front legs in. Once they're good and secure, advance your thread to the front, make a few wraps, then whip finish or half hitch. Once the fly is finished, cut your thread and come back in and trim your legs to the proper size. For your fly fishing needs, check out the Elk Springs online catalog. All right, Ryan, what we got going on here this morning? You know, yesterday proved a little bit tough. We had some beats that fished well, some that didn't, still kind of dealing with water conditions. All right. Uh, five or six of the ten are still really in the hunt. Um, interestingly enough, the two top teams, both North Carolina teams, have drawn the same beats, so they're going head to head today for the possible win. So, it should be interesting. Yeah. Get out on the water and see what they're doing. Sounds like playing. All right. On the first day, beat one was fished from the near side only, and not very many trout were caught. Davison River Outfitters drew this beat in the morning, and they decided to hike to the other side and fish some water they thought looked more promising. With Team River's Edge only a few centimeters behind, Kevin and Walker knew they had to produce and check these guys out as they go to work. Davison River Outfitters all but cemented their victory with that performance, and after scoring seven nice fish, it was out of their hands and into the hands of 14-year-old Andrew Brown and 15-year-old Hunter Hoffler of Team River's Edge. These young men headed to the swift water of Beat One, which was untouched the whole weekend, and made their last stand. Game crunch time. I don't know how much time we have left. You know what time it is, sir? 20 after 3. It's 20 after 3, so we got 40 more minutes. We're getting it. 37. So there's a beat end right here. Yeah, this is it, the orange flag. So these guys kind of ran out of room, almost. Yeah, they just started picking up fish coming up through this rapid. There was only 15 minutes left, and these 
these young men needed one more try. Before, uh. after. <laughs> so great job, guys. <laughs> Everyone that comes to this tournament always leaves with a smile. Herman's Cottages is just a great place to be. Todd and his family always puts on a great event, and we're all looking forward to next year's Harmon's North Fork Invitational. If you'd like to take part or sponsor this year's event, May 17th to the 19th, check out wvlogcabins.com slash frc. Thanks for hanging out with Fly Rod Chronicles. We'll see you next week. Another.